What's going on guys? Welcome to tonight's stream. I don't know how long it'll go on, but I got two games that I want to play tonight. First of them being 100 Hearts, which was made by Retro Gaming Dev. Uh, sometimes he's in the chat. I don't know if he is tonight or not, but a while ago he asked me if I uh, if it was okay for him to put me in the game, and I was kind of like, hell yeah. And he gave me the um, this version of it that has me in it now. It's not a finished game. He told me it's like a 10 or so minute playthrough, so let's let's get to it. Three years ago. The Dark Lord Lapsus Rigel brought death and destruction, chaos and despair to the land of Amontines. He stole all hope from the land and assumed control. Despite his power, he could not destroy the hope he took away. Instead, he locked the hope away in 100 crystal hearts. So I'm assuming, like, the, ultimately the game is going to have, like, the kind of thing where you got to find them all. The 100 hearts were hidden away and guarded by his legions of darkness. Okay, it's at the Wasid controls. What up, nope? Sam Spot of Faith, Lapalduvid, Nonitz, Luca Cola. Pineal YT, Zombie Futon. What's going up, guys? Well met. Oh, yeah, this is definitely uh, very Zelda y. What's up, Spoopy Man? Uh, oh, yeah, I do have. I'm gonna need, like, a hookshot type thing, I'm guessing. Actually, wait, I realized. So the way I have my screen set up here, I'm like looking at uh, the OBS thing anyway, as opposed to actually looking at the actual game instance, so I might as well just play it like this. Alright. I'm thinking... Trying to find like the right, the best way to play with these controls here. Because right now, spacebar is the slash, and then I'm using the WSA ASAD to move around. Are oh, you blob guy? I think I'm gonna hit you with my sword, yeah? Maybe I'm not. Can I... can I not hurt you? It looks like I'm hurting him. <laughs> what up, handsome Supreme? Now, skeletons I can definitely hurt, right? That, that ske skeletons are just made to be chopped in the face with a sword. Is the audio very loud? I think I'm gonna put it down a little bit. I'm kinda like, what I'm finding is I'm playing like two-handed on the keyboard. It's pretty comfortable. Yeah, it was fine. Die, blobs. Pointy goblin face guy. Is that a neck or a nose? Oh, it's a neck. Because they got little uh, button noses. This guy's scared. It's like, no, get me away from this pointy he headed sword guy thing. 
What if I clickbait spoopies? I'm assuming I gotta push one of these. Yeah, there we go. I know how to Zelda. Maybe not. There another button. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. E is the used button. Now, the whip is going to get me across, I'm assuming. Alright, so that's bringing me down, but I have... Wait, can I use the mouse here? No. Toggle. Save the game, but... I mean, I've gotta, like, somehow swap the sword and the whip. I, just, I don't know how. Next to the sub, Grandmaster. Maybe like a number thing, maybe? Arrow keys, no. Tab. Hey, wait, what did I press? Oh, Alright, it's C. Still can't hurt that guy though. Actually, wait, if, so if I fall down there, and I, oh, it just takes me to the start. I'm gonna whip you guys. Doesn't do much damage, just smacks him around a little bit. Thanks, Grandmaster Sirwin. Alright, get over here. Get away from me, blob. There we go. Oh, wait, I still gotta smack that guy. No! Alright, cool. I thought it was just gonna get stuck. Got some damn coins. Yeah, I'm thinking the whip doesn't actually damage things, just knocks them around. Get over there. It's a cool song. It's stuck. Oh, these are like those, uh, those like centipede type things from Zelda. Those things are always really cool to me. Those, like, I don't even, they're like, well, not centipedes, they're like worms with the ball bodies. And you get that, I think it's like the third boss battle in A Link to the Past. And. You have that little, uh, miniature arena, if you fall off, then you go down, and you gotta, you know, go all the way back up. Alright, so what we got here? 
Oh, yeah, let's fuck that whole book. <laughs> this guy has like fuck reading. What about Vatsuki Dolce? No. Alright, so I'm gonna have to push one of these. Oh no, maybe I don't. But you know what? Maybe something still opens up when you push him, so I gotta push him all. What up, a whole hamster? Core Guzmar? Crumbs are crummy, what up? Oh, oh, it's me! There we go. Fuck. Ha Yo, I'm fucking cheesy as fuck. Oh, I died. I killed my- <laughs> Oh man, I killed myself. Alright, so he took the design, um... He used the design from the tentacle shirt that Spencer Kane made. Um... I actually have that shirt in the shop. That's linked in the panel there. Maybe there's a thing I have to do, like kind of like knock back those projectiles or something. I like that, it, you know, you you, you can kind of like intimidate these monsters and they just run away from you in the corner. I don't know if that's by design or if it just appears that way. Alright, let's get some more potions before we get over there. Or maybe the whip so it can attack from a distance. Well, I don't I don't think it does damage. This game's called the 100 Arts. Alright. Let me be a little less aggressive now. Do those projectiles get knocked back? They do not. Oh, fuck! Wait, what am I supposed to do? I guess the whip... I don't know, it seems like the whip doesn't actually do damage. Thanks, Super Vacuo. So, that's a lot of bits. Use those immortality that, I mean, that should be like what I drop, I guess. Although that'd be a pretty cheap drop to get right there. Damn. Maybe, I got- I mean, The sword didn't knock back the projectiles. Maybe the whip will? Damn, I'm not even coming in there with full health now. I mean, the whip, he reacts to getting hit with the whip. It 
So what makes it hard is that you get too close and it charges at you, so. I mean, I guess you got to kind of like... Yeah, see, I'm not actually doing damage with the whip. I guess I just got to be like this and avoid the fireballs. Or play like ping pong like this. Oh! Killed myself. And I got a heart. So now, what do I do? I'm guessing this is where it ends. And it just didn't cut it off here. Cause it's like, it's a very early build of the game, so... Are we just leave? Well, but now we can get over here. All right, now there's more to it. I see. I forgot about this whole area. Oh. No, don't. Oh, I got stuck up against that plant. I knew what was coming, and it just happened. I can see that differently colored wall over there. I know what that means. Oh, these guys, like, don't move when you hear them. They're just... On you. I'm thinking that this might just be unfinished here. They told me it was like a very, very early build. That was pretty cool, though. I'm into it. I want to see where the game goes. There's going to be like a hundred... Um, like a hundred dungeons that might be pretty interesting.